Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this question here. Lucid with lengthy one, obviously, and uh, we'll see how to solve solve such question. This concept has come in cat and zat uh, more than three four times in last ten years. Okay, so very uh, important question. This is actually. So let's see this here. So basically, this this question here says that that uh, a group of four thieves stole some gold coins from the king's treasure. Okay. and on their way back home they decided to take rest in the forest such that exactly one of them would guard the treasure while the other three are sleeping each one of them would guard in turns the first thief while guarding took 1/6 of the total number of coins and five more the second thief while guarding took 1/5 of the total number of coins and four more the third one uh, took 1/4 of remaining coins and three more And finally, the last one uh, uh, took uh, one third of remaining and uh, remaining coins and two more. When all of them wake up, uh, woke up, they distributed the remaining number of coins among themselves equally. If the second thief to guard got a total of thirteen gold coins, then how many gold coins is stolen from the treasure? Fine. So now, how do you attempt such question? Actually, yeah. So actually, uh, in this question, what uh, the the most uh, the problematic thing say uh, thing is actually that uh, you get infractions if you start from x lot of fractions you get right so you start from x then you get some fraction because one six is stolen a uh, fifth uh, five five six is left then it's two third then it's a lot of fractions are involved right that's not a good way to involve so lot of fractions are involved not a good way to solve this question uh we have learned this uh, this uh, back tracking also for this uh, this kind of questions but exactly back tracking cannot be applied here because for applying back tracking we should know the number at the last and we don't know the number at the last here okay so some 13 is the number given and it is uh, from the second guard here so again can't apply back tracking right okay so now the best way to start uh, this problem is uh, that assume some assume x and uh, not exactly x take some number okay in multiple of this fraction for example uh one, at one time we need to do the uh, for example first one took 1/6 the 1/6 means in 5 5 by 6 will be left okay the second thief fifth took 1/5 so 4 by 5 will be left then third a uh, fifth a uh, third thief uh took 1/4 then 3 by 4 will be left like that right so basically and the last one took 1/3 so 2/3 will be left So take a number which is multiple of all the denominator here. Six into five, thirty into four, one twenty, and three also only all one twenty is only multiple of three. So what we'll do here, we'll start with so let's say there were one twenty x. Okay, obviously x will be there, but I'll take any multiple of six four. So I can take one twenty, I can take sixty also, I can take two uh, forty also, I can take uh, something any, any number which is multiples of six four and three like that, right? So let's just start off with 120x. Now see, uh, starting with 120x, we we'll eliminate all the fractions here. Okay. So now let's start as 120x. So let's say 120x was the number of coins that was stolen from the treasure. Fine. Now the second thief while guarding. Uh, now the first thief while guarding took one sixth of the total number of coins and five more. So what first thief did? He did. It took. He took one sixth of total number of coins. So one sixth of one twenty x is twenty. So one sixth of one twenty x is equal to twenty x. So what he took, he took twenty x, and then he took uh, five more. So twenty x plus five he took. So what? So he took twenty x plus five. What is left with now? What uh, uh, the uh, total number of coins uh, that is remaining there is one twenty x minus twenty x plus five. That is equal to a uh, hundred x minus five. Correct. That is what well, that is what left here. Okay. Now what second thief did? It took one fifth of the remaining number of coins and four more. The second thief took one fifth of remaining number of coins. That means out of hundred x minus five, it took hundred x minus five one fifth. That is equal to. That is equal to twenty x minus one. So from hundred x minus five, from hundred x minus five, he took twenty x minus one. So what I'm left with now? So basically, I'm left with eighty x. Uh, eighty x hundred minus twenty is eighty x. 
minus 4. So after second thief took uh, uh, this uh, 100x, uh, second thief took uh, one fifth of the remaining number of coins and four more. Okay, so one fifth of the remaining number of coins and he took four more from here. So I'll take that. Okay, he has taken 20x minus 1. Uh, I'll just add 4 here also. Okay, that means he has taken what? 20x plus 3 he has taken. So 20x plus 3 he has taken. So we are left with 80x, 80x minus 8. So 80x minus 8 is left with. Fine. Now let's move ahead. Now what third thief did here? So third thief took one fourth of the remaining coins and three more. So one fourth of the remaining coins. Okay. So what is one, uh, one fourth of remaining coins? So 80x minus 8 by 4. So 80x minus 8 by 4. And he took uh, three more. Okay. So basically that uh, 3 more will be how much see? So this 20x minus 2 plus 3. So 20x minus 2 plus 3 is 20x plus 1. So out of 80x minus 8, he took away 20x plus 1. So what he is left with now? He is left uh, 60, the number of coins remaining there are 60x minus 9. Correct. And what fourth thief, uh, thief did there? So he took one third of the remaining and two more. So 60x minus 9, it's one third. It's one third and basically two more. So that will be equal to, you can just add plus four here also. That time we missed that, okay. So that was fine. So now uh, 60, this is 20x minus three plus two. So again, it, it took 20x uh, minus three uh, plus two, that is 20x plus one. So out of 60x minus 9, he took away 20x plus 1. Okay. So what are left with now? Where is this 40x? 40x minus uh, this is uh, I think uh, just a minute. 20. Sorry, it should be 20x minus 1, right? So 20 is to x minus 1. Yeah. So 20x minus 1 should be 20x minus 1 and so what is left with us 60x and um, 60 minus 20 40x minus 8 now what has happened uh, after that so when all of them woke up now and they distributed the remaining coin uh, among themselves equally so now 40x minus 8 and this to be divided equally now so 40x minus 8 divided by 4 so each thief will get how much? 10x minus 2. That is that each thief will get. Okay. So now I can equate to my real number here. So now number we have got is 13 here. So I got to use this, right? So now what who has got 13 gold coins? The so second thief got a total of 13 gold coins. So what second thief got actually? So he got 10x minus 2 in the last. And that time what he took away? So he took uh, 20x plus 3 he took away. Okay, so he took away 20x plus 3. So th that is equal to 10x minus 2 plus 20x plus 3 that is equal to 30x plus 1. So 30x plus 1 is equal to 13, correct? So 30x will be equal to 12. Therefore, x is equal to 2 by 5. So number of total number of coins, how much we had? So total we had 120x coins initially. So 120 into 2 by 5. So 48 is the answer for this question, right? So very important because in the whole uh, funda, we just avoided fractions very beautifully here. Okay, so that's a very good way to solve such question. Don't get messed up in the fractions. Assume some number which are multiples of the denominator and you can avoid fraction and you can move faster with these questions, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, and all of you know that uh, this test series is going on from an academy and it is absolutely free of cost. So this test, uh, this four tests actually and uh, more than 6,000 people have given the, the both these tests. So uh, you go, got to uh, give this test actually if you have missed it. So first test was on 17th October and the second was on 24th October. If you have missed this, you can uh, just enroll to the link that is uh, that will be pinned in the comment and uh, you can give the next test also at 31st October from 12 30 pm so do give this test guys enroll through the uh, the link i pinned in the comment actually okay so i'll pin in the comment here 
and uh, these are really some high quality tests a uh, very close to cat level not very difficult not very easy so 10% plus minus to around cat level uh, all the questions are basically reviewed by me and uh, all my team at an academy so we are actually uh, trying to completely change the uh, this uh, test scenario at an academy we are well, we are making a very high quality test series and this four tests are basically free as of now we'll try to get more actually till uh, till the till cat so we uh, expect a greater response from you people so just try to give this tests at 12 30 pm from at 31st october and 7th november and could give this missed test also so i'm sure that a lot of good concepts a lot of good questions you'll get in these tests which will basically uh, brush up your concepts and also a uh, boost your preparation for cat so do give this test guys you can just enroll through the pin enroll to the link in the uh, link that is pinned in the comment here and uh, give if you have not given give this two two missed mock tests and see you on the uh, see you at the next test on 31st of october okay that will live at 12:30 pm so give that their test live so that will give you a good sin a good uh, the feeling about the tests and uh, the accurate percentage also okay so thank you